Daisy, where'd you get the supplies? So, Felipe and some of it Home Depot from donations. But Felipe, the builder, told me this morning anything I need. So, so this is your second house? Second tiny home. want to clear some things up. The first thing, a lot of humans, they're not superheroes yet. So they're like, hey, get a job like everyone else and contribute. But if we meet our needs in systems that emerge from scarcity, see, love is our new religion. It's at our core. We need to stop lying to ourselves and tell the truth. So if we really follow the flow of life, then needs emerge around us and then our life energies and attention go to meet needs. This is done through fellowships. It builds trust. It creates deeper connections with relationships. We're meant to find interdependence so we meet needs together. So when people are like, go work, no, that replaces trust, interdependence, relationship. Housing should be free. When you look at the rainforest, you don't see where anyone lives. Jaguar lives there, frog lives there, bird lives there, lizard lives there. Ma everyone lives there, but you don't see where they live. Because <laughs> they live in harmony and they love living together. They absolutely love it. They never get sick of each other. And then there's so much biodiversification. They see someone who's the same species. They're like, oh, I'm so excited. We're sick and tired of seeing the same species. So first, we have to bring abundance to the people out here, make it easy for them. They can just wheel their stuff. And then you know what? If it doesn't fit in your tiny home, like all my stuff would fit on something like that. I feel like most people out here are minimalists. If you can't fit it on your tiny home, maybe you got too much stuff. Who's helping Bruce today? Oh, this is a superhero stud. I found him in that construction site. So I like to flounce around and make friends everywhere. Can you tell us the difference between this one and the other one? So, actually come and look at this one. So I started to kind of like build shelves. So I drilled this part in, but Bruce had to use the drill. But if you can see what I'm doing, like there's like a shelf here. We just have to drill it all together. And it's starting to have more structure and support, see? 
So basically this is going to be my puppet show yoga studio and that's my tiny home. And then in between, because it's, it's high, it's like seven feet each, I'll have my aerial ribbons. So like, ah, and then I don't need it easy up, I just put it in between. So minimalistic, as little as possible. And then I have this bamboo to create like a big wall around my yoga studio. I can get like, that's 16 feet. So I could have like a 16 foot by like 12 foot yoga studio right here on the boardwalk. And I'll dance and prance and sing and chant and make friends. And I'm getting tons of orders for tiny homes. So, um, and I have a lot of people who are helping. Hello, guys. You wanna come and help us, don't you? You're not even a local though. How are you gonna come? How are you gonna hang out? Alright, we'll come back and talk to me later about it. Alright. Can you do for us? Oh. Can, you, can you help us with that? Because we're gonna. It doesn't go all the way through though. Um, and you don't get no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not long enough? But also we're going in from the top, yes? Yes, I know, because this uh, right. change is on the side, you know, uh -huh. step is up, you know? Oh. Yeah. It's not kind of stopping it. Uh -huh. If you true. put that, you know, it's yeah. all there. If it's there, you know, it's go there. Yeah, that's true. Uh, generous people are very quick to give notice how he's happy to help and give but people are scared of, of receiving because it's deeply embedded in us that if you owe if that you could be enslaved debt enslaves us and that's how we've had kings and queens and people controlling and that's the the one lie that separates us from the oneness is thinking that we can own it it takes us out of the paradigm of belonging to and if we know we belong to each other and we're part of the same oneness we love each other so much Go see Felipe. You want to come? Okay, I'm gonna go get nails from Felipe. Well, not nails. Let's see. Well, yeah, nails would be great. Framing nails would be great. You could start drilling from the top, and we'll flip it over. No, I can. I can uh, do nails from the top or from the side here. No, don't, because we'll just get the long ones so we do it right. Don't you think? Yeah, but if you have the nails, that's fine, because the nails are for the support on the beams. Oh, look at this. Oh, superhero indeed. What are some differences between this one and the first one you guys built? Yeah. We're, oh, uh, well, we're, we have a, a, a platform that's on a, uh, a cart, and this is a, a standalone platform. So now we can build up on it, and the wheels, so when the uh, LAPD come down, they can move it out of the way. There is the difference. So it's a freestanding structure. And, the, and those, instead of two by fours, they look like a... Those are uh, four by fours. That's the roof. This is so badass. What was counting there? <laughs> we had them cut at Home Depot. So, yeah. The cuts were not right. Did you get donations for the supplies? Uh-huh. And our friend is helping us do a GoFundMe to get more. Thank you.
Beautiful. Thank you. Stacey, aren't you going to walk on it? I don't want to right now. I think when they're done with work. You know how people are when they're working. There's a lot of have to and shouldn't. Yeah, I know I that feel like we're going to have to take those nails out to properly put a long one in. Um, yeah, it's great support now. And then we now, we now know, so I'll get a longer screw that'll be able to go through. So this, this will hold this and keep it Let safe. me ask Felipe real quick. Yeah, yeah. So if he has uh, framing nails, that'd be great because I have a hammer. Framing nails. Framing nails because we can go right through there. So usually they're like anywhere from five to six inches. Great. All right, we need framing nails. Yeah, yeah. And then I can pound what in on each side. What if he has six inch screws? Uh, six inch then screws he'll have great. to give us the bit. All uh, right, because it'll be, unless it's a regular Phillips head. But, These but are it's different. better if we have nails, because then we don't need a drill. Right, remember, he still has a drill. He's charging it? Okay. Or, I don't know, I think it's on the generator. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go to... Big deal. As big as you can get. <laughs> Do you have a second too? All right. He's cut it in like one second. <laughs> He's like. And here we got OG Hitchcock. Yeah. Oh, you got all those beautiful hats here. Hey, why don't you just grab one for yourself? Because I don't want to take all the time. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. You got it. You deserve it. So if you come down here, check him out. He got all those hands. And look what Daisy's building right here with the help. This young gentleman right here. She's building a tiny home. for the city they're like what color do you want they're like i got a roller would you they'll paint everything for us um the guys sanitation with the buckets they'll give us the buckets we need for the compost and stuff Template for everything else. So 
is this what you want? Like I, I don't want to do this with everything else. I want to do it They're different and fun every time. Because different people will help every time. And we'll have different products and services and vibrations and energies and everything's always changing. It's the only thing I can have. So don't drill it yet, because we're going to measure it, right? But I could put it in this one, but not here. Uh, yes. Yeah. So let's just put all these down and I'll just draw all these other. I'll be a useful guy. Or should we wait till it's on the machine so it's completely level? Oh, yeah, because we can just pull it Just make sure the angle irons. Right there. Like that? 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 Yeah. Let me get you another bit. Yeah, it just came out. I'm like, oh, let me get this 3D embroidery shit. Here you go. You know how to put it in. The 3D came because I could change it. Yeah, baby. One more, please, Daisy. Remember? Helping me build a tiny home for you. Buy new nails? Yes, because we only can use one bit. Okay. <laughs> what do you how much you need? GIV is donating the, to the cause. <laughs> Yay! 
for the nails. Thank you. Bruce, if you cut off the flow of receiving, then you cut off the flow of giving. See ya. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. So this is going to be Yoshi's home. Because we were standing here and there's not enough support for it to be a dance floor. So it can't be mine. So I'm going to stay in here. I'm planning on moving back to the beach next week. You're going to move back? Huh? You're going to move back to the beach? Well, there's a whole bunch of us that live here right now. There's like 12 of us. So we're going to start sleeping by the beach. And then this will be my spot. Hold on, hold on. We're gonna sleep right by the waves and listen to the waves crash. It's gonna be How many wave. people are out here? Uh, right now there's like 12 of us. And we are gonna sleep together close to the beach. And basically I'm gonna move out of the spot where Prince and I were into this spot. But we're all gonna sleep out there. Yoshi's kind of staying in my yoga studio right now but this is going to be his tiny home aren't you and afraid then, out to stay out here why would i be afraid i've been staying out i've been living out here for the most part of the past four years and when i'm when i'm out here i can at least figure out like how to from the ground up create a world that works for everyone i can try to embody it by dipping into market economy world, the housing we have that's not grounded to the earth, the pipes and water that's gross that I want the soil to turn but I still poop and pee in water. Like I dip in and out of this world, but I know I want this, so I know I want poop and pee in the dirt because I'm tired of seeing my seals like choking on the beach. I'm like, dude, that's just 30,000 gallons just got dumped in Balboa Creek. Bologna Creek or Balboa? Balboa. Balboa Creek. And that's because when we created the infrastructure in the 1950s, we knew it would last 30 years till we had to replace it because the population would just be too much. And we would surpass that. It's way past that. Um, if we get tiny homes out here for everyone, and all of a sudden we just watched a whole bunch of people throw away all of their blankets, everything they own. Like, think how that feels. Just like, ugh, just discard everything. That feels pretty shitty if some of that stuff you actually cared about or if you don't get to have any dignity when it happens because it's done under a coercive way where domination's being used and there's a threat of whatever. So we're by giving tiny homes, we take people out of that. Like the goddess who is sleeping, I could just, anyone could be like, oh, Donna, we could just get a new sweetheart while we power wash. And then when their compost thing is filled, we could, safety team goes by every day, they could be like, hey, you guys have any compost buckets that need to be emptied? Do you need help emptying it? Sanitate, like we can help people have dignity and and beauty and cleanliness, which is godliness, uh, right? When I live outside, everyone wonders why my hair is so curly and flouncy. Because I braid it and then I spiral put it in a bun and I get Disney princess curls. Everyone always says, why isn't she with her kids? I do go see my kids every week. I got nine warrants for my arrest for going to see my kids. I call them the nine noble warrants. How many and I probably kids do you have? I have three kids, and five and a half years ago, my awakening got triggered because I got arrested. Um, you could look up my arrest record. I got arrested for prostitution. How old, how old are your kids? The guy gave me two thousand dollars, and I was a sugar baby. So sugar babies, you don't hook up with the guy on the first date. You make them wait a while. Melania Trump did not become the first lady by putting out to Trump right away. Melania became the first, like, she really made it as a sugar baby. So I was dating Nobel Prize winning doctors and famous lawyers. Um, O.J. Simpson, he was out here helping us with the tiny home and stuff. I'm still friends with him. So this OJ's guy, lawyer. so this guy, so I call the cops on him because he takes the money. We didn't even do anything, and then they arrest me. They didn't arrest him, took me to jail, and then I was like, yo, my kids are alone. And then they charged me with child endangerment. They put my two boys in a foster home all the way in Simi Valley, which is like an hour and a half away from LA North. And then they put my daughter all the way in Riverside, which is all the way east, an hour and a half, two hours. So my kids are like four hours apart. Um, they, they went to three different homes each. 
and um, they got adopted, forced adoption <laughs> happened because my family is like, you know the Karens who call the cops on each other? This is a normal thing that white people do, they do it to each other too. Other cultures are like, well, what are you doing that for? We do it to each other. We don't know. It's part of our trauma. And we gotta heal from that. We gotta bring more togetherness. These systems, they rip apart, they punish, they separate, they use deserved language and shame to mobilize people. And what what's gonna become of any type of energies that when we create in such a way? And the manifestation of such relationships, which if you look at and uncode, decode the relationship of the judge, the social worker, the probation officer, it's toxic. It's that of domination. It's a narcissistic connection where they don't care about your feelings and needs. They don't even want to know what's alive for you. They'll just tell you, right, this is a toxic relationship that we're modeling. And then we do it through child rearing. So we're stuck in these systems, trying to use the same systems. And just like Albert Einstein said, we need a new mind to awake them. It takes three to five years to wire this new mind. It's actually a language of the heart. So instead of up here tinkering in our head, trying to figure it out in our sympathetic nervous system, where we're about to pop out of our skin because we're not resourced, we don't have our needs met, because life emerges in scarcity. So we gotta get up and try to do this so we have money to pay bills. And then we're creating from false energies. This is not life energy, which emerges just in flow and inherent um, motivations intrinsically tell us where to go and what to do and how to make life more wonderful and everything's a wonderful surprise and if we don't want to we won't and if, if we don't want to then people are like of course I honor you I don't need to know why like of course but in the world we live in it's not like that okay. and we got that Area. 
And we're going to put it on wheels because until we get permission from the city, they're not going to let us have a compost bin. So we'll have a big thing that people can dump in. So it'll be like four by eight foot. Oh, look, here's the compost bin. So I put it in the little area. I open this up. I dump it out. And then it's right by the, by the showers. So I wash it out in the showers. And then I come over here. Um, oh, I don't know. So the compost bin also has the area for the dirt. So now I dump my stuff in here. And then in this bin right here, I have the fresh dirt. So I'm like, okay, get my dirt. Or no, I open this. Whoosh. Yeah, dirt. And then I fill my two things of dirt. And I, people are, these are going to be heavy, so people probably have carts. And then you take it back to your spot. Maybe you've been going, maybe you use the bathroom a couple times since these buckets were out, so you put some dirt on top, and your buckets are ready to go again. Did the wrong drill bit. So Bruce, Bruce had to go, and you are ready. into a four by four. <laughs> you build shelving here. Out. Right there. We'll make shelving right there. So this is 16 feet. So it's going to cover the walls. And then it'll leave an opening. too big three by eight feet is perfect um, I remember when I was sleeping on ozone street and I was on the fence I had three feet and then that way the whole sidewalk was free and like when I was skinny up to three feet like you have enough room if you're if it's long so four feet this is like this is good enough for like you know two feet for a couple to sleep in and I was thinking about it it's not that we want a bunch of tiny homes on wheels everywhere. We don't want that. But what we do want is we want to be in nature so that no one can see we're there. We want to be camouflaged, but have really amazing housing. So this is a way that it's, it's less of an eyesore, because right now homeless people are an eyesore. It's cleaner and also, um, it, it gives people dignity so we can start to think about other stuff. 
imagine all the extra energy people outside if they don't have to move every couple days, if they don't have to mobilize and try to find food, try to find somewhere to sleep. If all those needs are taken care of, then they're free to create things that are much more inspiring. Like, come on. Four by eight for one person? Some part, but think about it. In, in downtown LA, that wouldn't work because the sidewalks are too skinny. There's a lot of places that if you're four by eight feet, it's too big. That's why I think three feet is perfect. Not all the way. See, you do it all the way, then it makes it come up. Wonderful, loving goddess. Por favor, Felipe. 